So, what does Wildfire do all day? Why, everything. They keep the peace, uphold justice, fight for resources, distribute goods. The sliver of trust they have for me has to do with the last one. Huh, where's Joshua? What are those shiny rocks? Ah, this is Geomero, an exothermic ore. The underground and the surface are sealed off from one another, right? Well, only the Geomero transport line is still running. The underground sends ore to the surface, and the surface sends goods to the underground, at least in theory. Most undergrounders are miners, and this is what they mine for a living. You know, if we didn't have Geomero to burn, this world would have frozen to death long ago. All right, let's keep moving. The person I was looking for isn't here. Oh, old Oleg isn't here either? Where is everyone? <laughs> so you're leading us on another wild goose chase? I wouldn't dare. Trust me, we're getting close. <sighs> huh? What's that huge structure in the distance? Oh, that's the furnace core. It's the pillar that connects the underworld and the overworld. People used to travel up and down that thing, but then... Then what? It's a long story. In any case, practically nothing moves up or down anymore. Except you. Oh, come on, my dear fellow. I thought we weren't going to discuss this. I beg you, the fewer rumors there are about me, the better. is usually always out on patrol here at this time. What's Wildfire up to? Hmm, are they avoiding me? Hey, look! Who is that? It looks like she's in trouble. Uh, my friends, don't just stand there. This drama doesn't need any more bystanders. Oh, you know, it might be interesting to see you get in trouble. <sighs> we should avoid attracting too much attention. We can't just leave her. Exactly! My boy, Cold Dragon Young. Uh, young Master Dan Hung speaks with reason. All right, princess, let's dispense with the pleasantries. You dare attack someone on our turf? Well, how about a few rounds of me? <sighs> Darn it! Quick, disperse! Spineless thugs! Miss Zila, phew, it's a good thing you showed up when you did. My heartfelt thanks. These vagrants have got some nerve looking for trouble in wildfire terror. Ugh, shut it, Sampo. This is you written all over it. Wildfire has countless issues on its plate right now. We don't need a side order of Koski. I hear Silvermane Guard is paying the underworld a visit. Is that you? You kidnapped me and brought me to the underground. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Listen to her. What is the meaning of this? 
she still thinks she's an overworld princess. Do you know what's become of us down here while you live the easy life? Did you even consider the fate of the Underworlders? The Silvermane Guards aren't living the easy life. We are constantly engaged with the enemy, defending Bellabog from the scourge of attacking monsters and protecting all those above and below the surface. <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? You protect the underground? Redeploying every guard to the surface? Sealing off the only passageway? Protecting the so-called architects, more like it. The Madam Guardian has her reasons. <laughs> Enough talk. You're coming with me. Chief Oleg wants to see you, and he's got more than a few questions. Perfect, Miss Hila. We were just on our way to pay Chief Oleg a visit ourselves. Room for a few more? Fully booked. Who are they? What good is your name by itself? Well, it's like this. The Chief's in the market for specific talent. An urgent request, so I'm taking them to see him. We're looking for a Stellaron. It's the source of all the disasters here. If we find it, we can... <laughs> I would recommend you not recite your story to everyone you meet. Miss Hila won't understand it anyway, so let's save it for the Chief, hmm? Huh? You're right. I don't understand it. And I don't plan on passing the message on either. Wildfires encountered trouble at the Great Mine. The Chief's busy. If you really want to find him, come look for me at the mine entrance. I'm leaving. How are you finding your first trailblazing expedition? All journeys contain their share of the unexpected. It won't be the last time. I'm about to summarize the intel we've gathered so far. Did you want to listen? First, we have the underworld. A huge underground space. Miners have built towns here and are excavating Geomero. Hmm. We learned from Natasha that the Underworld shoulders the energy needs for their entire civilization. Laboring in the Underworld used to be a great honor, and there was regular movement between realms. Sampo mentioned the Furnace Core, which people would use to travel in both directions. But now, each realm is sealed off from the other. Only the automatic transport line for Geomarrow and goods is still in operation. The reason for sealing the Furnace Core still needs to be investigated. In addition, it appears that Sampo has secret connections that grant him passage between here and the surface. That may come in useful to us. <sighs> Up to now, apart from Branya, whom Sampo brought here, I still haven't seen a single Silvermane guard. At the Fight Club, I heard people say that the guards withdrew from the underground many years ago, and that it was the Supreme Guardian who gave the order. At the time, the Supreme Guardian was none other than Kokoli Rand. Next, we have our goal, the Stellaron. After we revealed our intentions, the Supreme Guardian suspended communications and sent soldiers to arrest us. Her reaction was... Strange, to say the least. It's too early to say, but it was a radical move. It means that we must have broached a highly sensitive subject. A secret that she's sparing no effort to protect. If I remember our discussion correctly, I think there are two main possibilities. The Architects and the Stellaron. I'm inclined to think it's the latter, but we lack evidence. <sighs> There's an old saying that goes, good fortune lies within bad, bad fortune lurks within good. Even when compared with the overworld, the underworld has a long history. There should be valuable intel here. Not to mention, 
Without the Supreme Guardian's interference, we have a better chance than ever of locating the Stellaron. Lastly, we have the main strength of the Underworld, Wildfire. After the Silvermane Guards withdrew, and in order to keep the peace, the residents of the Underworld spontaneously organized their own militia, thereby taking over the Guards' duties. Ally? Hmm. It's a little premature to be talking about that. But Wildfire will be familiar with all manner of forces below ground. If we want to find Stellaron clues in the underground, I'm certain they can help. I don't know them. Trust isn't part of the picture yet. But speaking of trust, I suggest you don't place too much of yours in Sampo Kosky. He hasn't revealed his true intentions, but he has managed to corral us into a difficult situation. Almost without us realizing. That's a dangerous person indeed. Hmm, that's all we need to summarize for now. If there's anything else you're not clear on, come and find me. on the underground? Where should I start? <laughs> My observational skills are second to none. Well, the underworld is surrounded by cliffs, and there's no obvious structure. It seems like a spread out collection of mines and small towns, just like the outskirts of Bellabog. There's that huge pillar called the Furnace Core that's always in view. Maybe it's some kind of energy hub? From what I've seen, the residents are nearly all miners. It seems like the people here have less than those in the overworld. Still, the miners watch fights in their spare time. It's less pretentious than that theater they have on the surface. They're always in a hurry. The pace of life here is so fast. Things are pretty busy in the overworld too, but... Everything feels more relaxed up there. I'm not so good at analyzing people, but seeing as you asked... That guy? Ugh, he's lazy, lying, cunning, and evil. I don't like him. Can't stand the sight of him. I bet you think he's pretty entertaining. Watch out or he'll fool you. Ah, you mean that naughty kid we played hide and seek with? Dr. Natasha said that she's a handful, but that she also takes care of the homeless kids. Maybe she's more mature than she seems? Still, I can't believe how arrogant she is. I was pretty mad with her for a while. The Silvermane girl? She's pretty. I like looking at her. When I first met her, I thought she was kind of scary, but now it seems like there's something on her mind. I'm too nervous to ask her. At least she's not trying to arrest us anymore. She says what she thinks. I like her. And did you hear what she said about the Silvermane guards? <laughs> Sounded like she'd been waiting a long time to say it. I think I'd get along with her. If we can get her to help us, we'll bag a Stellaron in no time. If you hear any juicy gossip, um, uh, information, <laughs> come find me. Bored? Your big brother Sampo's always up for a chat. What kind of question is that? I'm your old pal Sampo Koski. We've been through thick and thin together. Well, that just means there's something wrong with your question. Questions are like transactions. If your request isn't clear, you might end up buying the wrong thing. Wildfire are one of my major clients. Though the work is mostly odds and ends, still, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> Who am I to complain if the money's right, huh? Zila works for them. 
Oleg's most trusted lieutenant. But to her, I'm probably just a wildfire's lapdog. <laughs> yeah, well, but, but a very contented lapdog, I should add. <laughs> As a non-member, not a clue. They'd never tell me their ultimate aims. Shame, really. It's not like I'm a blabbermouth. A pleasure. Until next time. I will arrest you under the Supreme Guardian's decree. Nothing has changed. I am not your friend. I saw you the day before the Goethe Hotel. Japard took you to see the Supreme Guardian. He told me you were visitors from beyond the sky. Just like the interstellar travelers of ancient legend. People of all kinds that carried the will of the eons. Japard said that you wanted to help us reverse the damage that the eternal freeze and fragmentum continue to wreak on our planet. But that night, Mother summoned me and ordered me to take a detachment to arrest you. What happened? The Supreme Guardian didn't tell me the details, and Japard had to rush back to the front line. I don't understand. Oh. The Silvermane Guards withdrew to the surface long ago. I must avoid that identity here. Until we're back in the overworld, I propose a temporary truce and cooperation. Your true intentions are of interest to me. If it helps you to trust me, I'm willing to answer your questions to the best of my ability. Let me repeat. All I received were the Supreme Guardian's instructions. It is for the adjudication panel to pass judgment on the accused. All the Supreme Guardian told me was that your identities were counterfeit and that your intention was to overthrow the rule of the architects. Truthfully? I've never heard of this Stellaron, but if all this catastrophe could be brought to an end simply by sealing it, then I hope its existence proves to be real. Fragmentum monster activity on the surface intensified, and hostilities on the front line were critical. To resist the invasion, the Architects had no choice but to redeploy the guards to the front line. If we couldn't hold our defensive line, then we wouldn't be able to maintain our supply of aid to the underground, which would have collapsed without us. That was the Supreme Guardian's explanation. In truth, I've always felt like something important is being hidden. Whether it's the Architects, Mother, or the Silvermane Guards, there's always an unnatural element to their actions. Since encountering you, the unexpected seems to have arrived in waves. I never thought I'd enter the underworld that has been sealed away for so long. I have a feeling that with you, I can pick up the lost threads and dispel my uncertainties. We should be going to see Wildfire. Let's move. <laughs>